You never know when the door of opportunity is going to open for you. And for a couple of wide receivers that were looking for an opportunity to maybe latch on with the roster, maybe as depth pieces or could be guys that can contribute on to special teams, that's the case right now for wide receivers Keelan Doss and Isaiah Ford. As they will now have the opportunity to compete for possibly a back-end wide receiver spot and slash special teams role with the New York Football Giants. What's going on, everybody? This is NYG Jeffy T 3285, and I'm here with a quick New York Giants update on a couple of wide receivers that were taking part in a tryout in this past OTA slash minicamp. And apparently they were able to convince Brian Dable and Joe Shane enough that they should be signed and at least have the opportunity when training camp comes around next month to have an opportunity to possibly make the roster as a number five or number six wide receiver. And that's four-year player from Virginia Tech and was drafted by the Miami Dolphins in the seventh round, Isaiah Ford, the 6'2", 190-pound wide receiver. And also... Keelan Doss, the two-year player out of UC Davis, 6'3", 215 pounds. Each one of these guys were brought in, possibly, to compete with guys like Travis Toivoilin, Alex Bachman, David Sills, Robert Foster, Richie James, Darius Slayton, Colin Johnson, and some of the other wide receivers that are right now competing for a back-end spot on this roster while some of the starting wide receivers like Sterling Shepard, Kenny Galladay, and Kadarius Toney around the men, as well as rookie Wandell Robinson, continues to learn the game of the NFL and learn the playbook as he goes into his rookie season. Now, Isaiah Ford is a four-year player who was drafted by the Miami Dolphins in the seventh round, and he has accommodated about 32 games played with 36 catches, 681 yards, and two touchdowns with his best seeing season coming in 2020 where he caught 200 where he caught 28 balls for 276 yards and no touchdowns. He actually had a pretty decent role size when he was going into the 2020 season as that third down wide receiver when he was playing behind the likes of, you know, Albert Wilson as well as Devontae Parker. So Isaiah Ford could be a guy that maybe if he has himself a pretty good training camp could be a guy that can maybe steal that wide receiver six position, maybe even a wide receiver five if Darius Slayton is not on this roster going into next season and they decide to cut him and save that two point five slash three million dollars off the cap. And another guy, Keelan Doss, who was accommodated for nine games with eleven receptions and 133 yards and no touchdowns over a two year span in Oakland slash Las Vegas is another guy that maybe is looking to maybe impress in training camp and maybe have himself a nice little niche as a special teams wide receiver or even a reserve guy, you know, just to go out there and see if maybe he can carve out a role in this wide receiver team. There's going to be a lot of competition right now behind Kenny Galladay, Kadarius Toney, Sterling Shepard, and Wondell Robinson, who we all assume Barring any type of injury or surprise move, those four guys should be locked into the roster going into the 2022 NFL season. And then you just add in two guys that are veterans in the league that are looking for an opportunity, like a Keelan Doss and like a Isaiah Ford, to go with the likes of a Travis Toivolin, with a Robert Foster, a Richie James, a Darius Slayton, a Colin Johnson, David Sills, C.J. Board, all these guys are going to be competing for the number five or number six wide receiver role, depending on how many wide receivers Brian Dable decides to carry on his team. But it doesn't hurt to bring in a couple of guys that you don't, they're not going to be coming in as your starters. They probably are not even going to be coming in as your wide receiver fours. These are guys that are going to be competing to try to win a role as a special teams player. And maybe if they impress enough, maybe you can use them in a couple of packages as maybe deep wide receivers, as well as guys that can maybe, you know, make a play or two in a game if needed be. But both these guys are pretty much just trying to come in and make an impression to possibly win a special teams role at least. Because the last thing the New York Giants want to do, and I made a video about this about a couple of weeks ago, that the wide receiver unit is the key of this team, and especially for Daniel Jones in this offense, they need those four guys at the top. Galladay, Shepard, Tony, Robinson to all be healthy throughout the year, and the Giants' offense should be a lot better compared to what it was in 2020 and 2019. So that was just a quick little update I wanted to bring in. The New York Giants have signed, after a couple of practice tryouts at mandatory minicamp today, 
wide receivers Isaiah Ford and Keelan Doss to add to the wide receiver competition as we head into training camp next month in July, as well as preseason. So if you like the video, please hit the like button on the bottom. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T 3285 for more news and updates surrounding the New York Giants. Hit the bell and the notifications come around to see when the next New York Giants or and um, the next video decides to come out for myself. And leave a comment below on if you think guys like Keelan Doss as well as Isaiah Ford can maybe surprise and possibly steal one of those wide receiver spots at the back end of the wide receiver room. So I hope all the rest of you guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Mandatory mini camp's got a couple of days to go, and then we're going to be hitting the uh, that long month slash month and a half break before we get into the real football matters, and that's training camp preseason, obviously getting ready for the 2022 regular season. So enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, everybody. Uh, I'll make sure I just talk to you guys very soon. And let's go New York football giants.